my! <laughs> if you're having a bad day or feeling kind of shitty, these alpacas, being alpacas, should change things. Imagine the feeling of constantly falling backward while trying to read the credits of Star Wars in Mandarin during a wildfire while getting broken up with and trying to talk your way back into the good graces but your thoughts are suffocating. Your mind is blank. This is what it feels like to have anxiety. But you already knew that if you're here to figure out how to cure it. How is it possible to turn such a shit show into something good? This is one of my most asked questions in the comments and my DMs about mental health. Therefore, today is a really special episode. Oh, by the way, what do you think of my new studio? Let's just cut straight to the end here. How do I overcome the shitty feeling? Pills, weed, alcohol, ice baths, ayahuasca in the Amazon. Sure, I've done most of them in an attempt to silence the chaos. But the cure isn't outside in. It's rather inside out. Let me elaborate. About four to five years ago, I started experiencing the most intense sensation of darkness. Out of nowhere, I just started feeling really sad when on the outside my life seemed great it seemed perfect i had a car friends family a roof over my head but none of that mattered i i couldn't feel it almost in a figurative sense it was like i couldn't see color anymore and after speaking to a professional i figured out that i have depression which then turned into anxiety and I kind of spent the next few years from then behaving like I had no manners. I, I couldn't look people in the eyes. I couldn't speak to people correctly. I couldn't attend social events. And I was going like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? I wish that I didn't have this. Inside, it felt like I was screaming with vulnerability, but I couldn't show that on the outside. And I felt extremely shameful. And the most terrifying thing about it all is that people on the outside didn't realize that there was anything wrong. So, so generally with, with mental health, you end up struggling alone. This is until I realized two things. One, to be completely present. The chaos can indeed be silenced, but you want to be able to use the chaos as a superpower, a magic wand for the creative mind. The best metaphor for this is surfing. The ocean creates this pandemonium and we ride that shit. We don't try control it or tame the beast, but rather flow with it. This removes anxiety entirely for that moment in time. People train tirelessly through cognitive behavioral therapy to get this right, but it's actually really easy. You don't think about what's gonna happen in a few moments time, you don't think about yesterday, all you think about is now. This becomes easier the more uncomfortable or incredibly breathtaking the situation. Therefore, challenge yourself with something. Anxiety is just the fear of the shit that doesn't exist yet. And then my favorite part, number two, which is using your disposition to your advantage to transcend through the norm, to stand out through your uniqueness, to create art that speaks consciously to people and that starts long-term conversations. Yeah, like this. this is my secret potion. It's the ability to think slightly deeper, to be more connected on an empathetic level. 
My YouTube channel is nothing but a visual diary of me answering my own unanswered questions as I travel through my life. I really wouldn't be doing anything else in the world right now, no matter what the offer. I am living my own dream. I found my ability to be able to be so pro mental health this way. If what I've been saying resonates with you and you think that you may be struggling with your mental health, you need to speak to a professional first. And, and I totally get it with anxiety and depression, the last thing you want to do is pick up the phone and go and see someone. Therefore, there are sites online that make it a lot easier. There's been a lot of speculation around betterhelp.com and my team and myself, we've done tons of research to look into it. From my side, I don't see anything wrong with having the ability to be able to speak to somebody about what's happening so freely and just to be able to vent and sh share your feelings. I really wish a site like BetterHelp was around when I was struggling. I'm not gonna speak about it anymore and if you are keen, Go check out the link, I'm going to put it in the top line of my description and I really think that you can benefit. Other than that, don't forget, you're awesome brew and I'll see you next week Wednesday.